Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color, and this is the reading for July 1st. Very exciting. Just finished all the July readings for all the signs, and I put on a new outfit. <laughs> The only reason I put this on, I wanted to wear a button down shirt, but it's like that man ironing and it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Also check out the July readings. I did them for all signs. And um, I'll also have the weeklies for next week up soon. I don't know when I'm going to do them, but I'll do them. I, it, it's not like I can leave the house. I mean, I can, but it's 97 degrees today here in New York, and it's 104 with the heat index, and a bit much, a bit much. So if you're living under a heat dome in the west or in the east or wherever, you got to, like, move slowly. You don't spend too much time outside. Not good for you. Okay. That being said, let's get to the July 1st reading. All right. Stop chitter chattering. Get to the reading. I'm tuning in for the reading. I don't want to hear you chitter chatter, Queen. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Boy, um, you ready? Boom. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. All right, now, keep in mind that not all readings pertain to all people every day. Um, I don't even know where to begin. The tower is something unforeseen. Sort of coming out of nowhere. I mean, this is almost like the Miami thing, right? Um, a surprise, a disaster, a, a catastrophe. Uh, but before that, you know, you'll have an inkling of uh, like a truth, you know, of, of something. To me, this is the truth that can't be unseen. Like a revelation of, of something that uh, is, is heartbreaking. However, we get, uh, this is to me a great card. This is like really one of the best cards in the deck. I'm a Scorpio, so it doesn't really, <laughs> I'm like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very like low key about that stuff. So this is about a complete transformation. This is really about a lot, something had to die. This is the, both of these are very karmic cards. It's almost like the universe did for you what you couldn't do for yourself. So something has to like disintegrate and, and come apart in order for something new to be born. Right. Um, so it, it kind of pertains to the Tower of Babel, right? So the Tower of Babel is all about, you know, the, like the whole notion of like, we're trying to reach God, blah, blah, blah. And the God's like, no, 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 and crash, crash, crash. And then all the languages are formed. So that's really interesting. So it's like, hmm, hmm. Different ways to express ourselves, you know, different, it's as if, um, there was one flower and now there is 700 million, you know? Because in the tower, if you look closely, okay, you get these yuds. The yud is the, the um, it's a 10. It's the, um, uh, it's a letter in the Hebrew alphabet that's like the smallest and the most powerful. It's like God's name begins with a Yud, or many of the many of the prophets begin with the letter Yud. It's the energy of ten, of hand, of um, it's the seed of something new. 
it's the spark. The Hebrew alphabet is based in the configuration of fire. The, the shape of the letters is based in the configuration of fire. If you're going to a real cold place, which, you know, it's like nothing for me. So <laughs> it's, it's the seed of something new. It's a seed of something new. So that's what happens out of the tower. And the tower sometimes needs to happen in order for um, like more um, seeds to be born, more trees to be born, more. This is a great card. This is really about complete transformation. And you know, it's really about in a way, you know, my friend has a garden and um, so when, and it's like, he's got like, he's deep into like a natural garden thing. So when you're, I'm at his house cooking and we cook like every week. So, you know, you cut away that part of the onion, you know, with the thing that you don't use and like that part of the tomato. And then all that becomes uh, mulch for the garden to grow and for the bees to come and for the hummingbirds to come, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, Sometimes we have to face ourselves or the world, the way things are, and it can be very upsetting, you know, and it can be very um, heartbreaking. And, you know, through that, new seeds are born and a transformation happens. So, it, you know, it seems very dark and very dramatic and it, it is a very dramatic reading, I have to say. Maybe, may, maybe one of the top five most dramatic readings I've done on YouTube, to tell you the truth. But it's not like all is lost. It's not, it was like exactly, it went down exactly the way it was supposed to, because here we are. The sun is here. The sun is here. Material is dead. The king is dead. Spirit survives. And even if spirit, if this notion of spirit on earth, right, because the Pope doesn't survive, the road ahead is off in the distance and, and the sun is shining, the sun is shining. So it's actually deeply transformative, but in the end, very hopeful. In the end, it's a really actually very hopeful reading. I know, I didn't wear the bright colors for nothing. <laughs> So it should be a very uh, eventful day, or you know, if it doesn't hit today, it could hit in a day or two or three or whatever. Um, this might be bigger than individual readings too, because this is such a big reading that it might be, um, this might be political, this might be um, social, this might be you know, much bigger than just you or I or us. So I'm getting, I'm kind of getting that, that calling. Look, I was going to say it to one of the other signs when I, because I read all the signs recently and it, we're living through incredible times. We're living through incredible times. So give yourself a break. You know, things are changing very rapidly, very, very rapidly. It's almost too much to take in. So, you know, understand that and allow yourself to just sometimes sit back and just take in all the information you're getting. And if you need to turn this off for a while, if you need to look at how I need a new thing. Um, if you need to turn that off for a while and unplug, then, then unplug because it's like so much information, it, it, you can't even take it all in. No, tune out with like a nature documentary or um, baby videos or whatever it takes to just be like, Ugh. you know, don't, don't take in all this darkness. There's a lot of darkness out there. It's very easy to plug into that. And I, I'm frequently astonished really when I'm on the subway platform, you know, they have all these advertisements for all the big um, media, uh, you know, um, I don't want to name them, uh, the ones that you um, watch shows on, right? Or the movies that are coming out. And they're all about the end of the world. They're, it's all apocalypse. It's all, it's all doom and gloom and darkness. And it's like, you know, if you keep on putting that into your head and that's what you're gonna get, right? 
if you eat processed food all the time, you know, your, your whole body is going to be processed. It's important what you put into your head and what you, you take into your heart, right? So be aware of that, that, that there's so much information that any news station, even the most like fair-minded, middle-of-the-road one, they still are trying to sell you on fear and on uh, angst. And so, you know, you know, step away, step away. You know, because to take on all this anxiety of something that you kind of have no uh, control over, it's like be in your own life, in your own world, in your own body, and, you know, with, the, with your community, you know, be in that tomato salad you're making, be in that, right? It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in and it's, it's overwhelming. So take a break, take a break and, you know, allow yourself to process information and then from your own intuition and your own mind, make decisions, you know, don't, um, you, you decide on the buttons that are installed, right? You decide on the buttons are, that are installed and maybe you need to pop off a few buttons. It's like, this is kind of a little bit too much for me, right? I, I need to get on with my life. I, I need to be productive and useful and, and um, sane and um, calm in order to make informed decisions. So that's my opinion. So take it for what it's worth. Blessings to you and um, wear something cute, you know, like if something's gonna go down, wear something cute, right? All right, blessings. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. And you know, probably tomorrow is gonna be like this humdrum little reading. You never know, bye.